Hello, this is Dr. Sayas, and today I am reviewing Dragon Quest Your Story. This was released on Netflix in 2020 to the world, but it was originally released in Japan 2019. It is a 3D CGI anime film based off Dragon Quest V. The protagonist is a kid called Luca, who starts off traveling with his dad, who is like an ultimate warrior. Shortly after, we get like a 10 year time skip. Before the time skip, we get introduced to a villain called Bishop Ladia. He was already very powerful before the time skip but after the time skip he is a lot more powerful and he is getting more and more powerful because he wants to try and open a portal to the demon world. In order to stop this threat Luca has to find the Sinifrian sword. He has to beat Bjorn the Behemus. I think I pronounced that right. Become the legendary warrior and defeat Ladia. So that is the story. What's the bad points about this movie? The story gets a bit sidetracked by romance. I really don't like romance in film. I'm sorry, it just really slows things down. If you want to make a romance film, just make a romance film. The romance takes place a few years past and I'm thinking, Guys, Laddie is getting stronger as time passes. Should you not stop him first and then have the family at the end? We also get a montage for Luca's training as an adult to be a warrior. And it is interesting, but he jumps from being harmless, not even being able to kill like a slime, to being like this badass warrior who can just take on these big monsters. It also kind of does this at the end of the film as well, like a jump in his power. And it would have been nice to see more of him more progressing as a warrior, but I know why they rushed it along, because they want to tell the story, they don't have time to show all this. The most annoying thing about this film was when I played it, the first few minutes of this film was just showing old school gameplay, Dragon Quest V. I could watch any retro YouTube gaming channel and just watch this. I don't need this in a freaking film. Just skip to the animation. This really took me out of it. And it's a shame because I know people, especially if they're not really into retro video games, and they see this and they go, oh, this film's shit, I'm not going to watch it. But I beg of you, <laughs> just stick for the first few minutes or just skip to the animation and it's a lot better, trust me. It is beautiful detailed environments it shows a great contrast of color it's quite vibrant they also have like detailed character expressions it is pixar quality of course you have the anime quality voice acting which is what you would expect and the characters are all quite fun and quirky personalities they're a bit dumb at times especially the main character i love the bombastic soundtrack of this i think it's a staple dragon quest i don't know but i like it and the story is not stupidly predictable there's a few twists and turns this movie is great for people like me who haven't played any of the games and it's easy to follow they don't bombard you with jargon that you'd only know if you played the games i'd imagine it's also nostalgic for players as well the thing that i find hilarious was bishop ladra's ball sack chin did they really have to use that shape and that color don't tell me that's just for design that was put in on purpose. What if kids watch this movie? It's sick. Every time he was on the screen, I couldn't take my eyes off. It's like, don't look at it, don't look at it. <laughs> what would I give this movie? I was thinking like, should I give this movie an S rank? And I was thinking, well, why not? It's one of the best animated movies I've seen. It just does a lot of things right. The romance doesn't do enough to ruin the film for me. It's on Netflix right now, so please give it a go if you haven't seen it. It's definitely a contender for one of the best movies of 2020. Hello guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe for more videos. Bye!